Joining us now is Mary Mitchell, who's an editorial board member and columnist for the Chicago Sun-Times. Ms. Mitchell, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. Thank you. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. The state Senate may draft a law that would allow the state to fill Obama's Senate seat with a, with a special election, essentially wresting that appointment away from Blagojevich. Do you think that they can do that, and do you think they will try? Of course they will try, because right now this is, not only is it embarrassing, uh, it is the kind of thing that will come back and bite every last one of them, every last legislative leader in the behind down the road. I, am, I would be surprised if citizens wouldn't go to the state capitol, march in there, and drag Blagojevich out to get this thing done. Uh, the, the, the whole process has been tainted. It's given uh, Illinois, and all, we already had a bad reputation in terms of corrupt officials. But you think there's a new day. You know, everybody's singing, you know, uh, that there's a new day and there's hope in the air. But now we have this hanging over our heads. So I think that the legislative leaders will do it very quickly. They will get it done. They will get him unseated, or they will change the law so that he, he no longer has the power to appoint. Is anybody in Illinois at this point sticking up uh, for Blagojevich further than saying that he is innocent uh, than, uh, until proven guilty? Anybody other than his attorney and himself standing up for him so far? Everybody's running for cover. First of all, he's a very unpopular governor. Uh, since he's been in office, uh, there hasn't been one budget process that went smoothly. Uh, he has been a major bully in terms of the uh, of, of federal of uh, state funding, uh, it, and I think people don't like him very much. So I don't think he's going to find any friends at this point. People are running and they're hiding and they're ducking and they're hoping that their name isn't mentioned. Um, now that Governor Blagojevich um, is charged with trying to sell Obama's Senate seat, d is, does anybody who was under consideration for that seat before still stand a chance at getting that appointment, or does it, is, it, is it all dependent on the process from here on out? I think the process, has to, the, the process outlined by Senator Durbin seems to be the best solution here. Uh, have an election at this point. Uh, let them all put their names on a ballot. Let them uh, campaign for it. And let the citizens vote for the uh, person that they want to send to the Senate. Because any other process is going to be tainted. Uh, I find it very interesting, for instance, that uh, Illinois Senate President Emil Jones is um, making all this uh, noise about uh, coming in and passing law. His name is on the list. He, just a day ago, he decided to come out and say he was interested in the job. So how is he going to be over the process? I think the only thing we can do now is hold an election. And that's the shame of it, that Illinois, that's struggling to pay its bills like every other state, is going to have to spend money now for a special election because of these charges. This is going to be one of those situations in which the crime, to a certain extent, defines the political problems of the state until the solution defines the political problems of the state. The way that Illinois finds its way out of this is going to say more about the people and the political capacity of Illinois' leaders uh, than anything Rod Blagojevich uh, could ever do. Uh, one last question for you, Mary, and that is the speculation about who the infamous Senate candidate number five is, the one who at least Blagojevich and his henchmen said w was willing to offer money to Blagojevich in exchange for the seat. Uh, lots of speculation, presumably, in Chicago on who Senate candidate number five is? There's lots of speculation, but you know what? I don't want to be one of those people who speculate because that person's uh, reputation is going to be tainted. Uh, I would rather wait to see what happens with Fitzgerald, whether he'll come back and actually charge that person with uh, bribery, uh, you know, in, this con in connection with this case. Mary Mitchell, Chicago Sun-Times editorial board member and columnist, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I look forward to having you back on the show again sometime soon. Thank you. Coming up next